Hey everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from the CLMograph channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the for loop tool, okay? This is a very powerful tool, and um, I did this render, but we are not going to learn how to do exactly this. We are going to learn how to use the for loop tool. So, first of all, I will create this sphere in primitive type it's polygon okay i can increase the frequency and right here i will create this poly extrude node we will increase the distance as well 0.2 okay and divide info we can do individual elements so every extruded primitive will extrude in his own normal okay not connected with the others Right here we can do uh, activate this front group as well, okay. And we create this primitive node, this one, okay. The primitive node will transform each primitive separately, okay. So right here we can uh, put here dot eight in every axis, okay. Right now his uh, transforming every primitive we don't want this we want just the extruded primitives to be transformed so right here in source group we can select extrude front and it will work perfect okay so right now what we have here i have this uh, workflow from rudini that's always downwards okay so it starts with the first node on top and go downwards and right here we have just three nodes it will solve this sphere node go to the poly extrude solve the poly extrude node go to the primitive and he's doing this in this direction okay we could if you want to repeat this um, transformation we did here we could just duplicate as much as we want okay so like that we can transform it uh, multiple times by duplicating but this is not the best way to do this okay so here is the power of the for loop okay if you create a for loop here let's go what the for loop do let's go i will put the poly extrude right here the primitive as well connect the sphere here so we have this network right here and what this means okay i will put a normal right here okay like a sphere solve sphere to repeat begin one poly extrude primitive repeat end and normal it will be the normal path okay the most usual path the routine you do but we have the, this for loop right here and this will repeat every uh, operation that's inside the for loop will be repeated by the number of interactions okay so this number here sorry will, mut it will multiply these nodes here okay so we can uh, select it for by example okay so what's happening right right now we have this sphere repeat begin one poly extrude primitive repeat end and we will start over this will start over right so repeat begin one poly extrude primitive repeat end start again repeat begin one poly extrude primitive end start again and this will, this will happen four times okay i can increase this for five and this repetition right here will work five times okay so let's go to three again and this is really powerful i can for example create another poly extrude right here i can create a group In this group i will name it extrude front okay sorry this is the name okay exit front 
right now this first poly extrude can work only on the extrude front group i will do this in the second one too okay right now we have this but we can do like that let's let's see okay we can do this first one to extrude very little Let's look at that we can achieve really beautiful results with this note but the first one sorry let's invert this the first one will grow a lot but the second one will grow just a little bit okay like this and the primitive okay okay this is perfect okay let's create this extrude front group so right now what we have let's look at this okay let's change these parameters so the results are better okay dot seven so what is happening right now okay it will extrude let's see right here one time it will extrude extrude very little here just a little bit of extrusion right here then it will do this primitive operation that will decrease the scale you know and then it will repeat if i put two times it will repeat two times so right now it will go to the begin this repeat begin note start over to poly extrude poly extrude primitive and this will repeat as many times as we want okay so if i put here five times look at this we have this really beautiful structure by just using this okay we can in the repeat begin one create this Meta import node. What this node does? This node rolls information of each iteration separately, okay? In this iteration attribute right here. We can use this iteration attribute to create variations on each repetition we have here, on each iteration, okay? So we can for example divide this distance by the number of the iteration how we do this we make this detail and you write the expression like i'm doing right now okay we find this node repeat begin one metadata one this is a node then we write the attribute name iteration zero close brackets okay what's happening right now so the grow is decreasing by each iteration you see it and this is really powerful you can do amazing stuff with this and uh it's really amazing the, the for loop too okay so we can do a VDB from polygons. We'll increase the resolution. Uh, right now, I can create a VDB smooth STF. Okay. Then I convert VDB. To polygons you can see we did a complex organic structure only with this few nodes you see the render i did this is the the network i created okay so what i did right here let's see i created this sphere i put this remesh to create variations on the on the primitives okay then I made this poly bevel. 
an attribute noise from the zscale just to, to create a variation on the extrude, okay? The zscale controls the extrusion from the poly extrude, okay? Then I create this for loop and this for loop just have this poly extrude and the distance is controlled by the metadata, the iteration, okay? I did this primitive and the scale is controlled by the zscale attribute that has the noise up here, okay? And then I did this fall off a time shift just to make a perfect loop, you know? So when it meets the 124 frame, it will go to the begin, to the 20 frame. And this will create a perfect loop. I used a mix with this attribute, okay? And this bias to controls. This attribute controls the color and this bias controls the transformation, you know, the, the mix between the mesh from the frame 20 and the mesh from the last frame. Then I create this normal, a VDB from polygons, the VDB smooth, okay, and the convert VDB to make this a polygon. I use the attribute transfer to have this CD attribute. I transform just to rotate, animate the rotation, okay, and the material. And we have this structure that's like an alien extrusion, do you know? Some kind of organic life. Uh, I hope you like this tutorial. I'm trying to increase my skills speaking English so I can bring great content to everyone, okay? So thank you very much. Remember to subscribe to the channel and uh, thank you very much. See you.